Hello fellow hustlers, this is Todd from New York, now living in South Korea. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the inject method in Ruby on Rails. So follow me. So this video tutorial will review the inject method. The inject method in Ruby on Rails is a method that's used to perform a series of operations on each element of an array. Typically what an inject method is used for is to basically refactor your code to consolidate it and make it a lot easier to read. So if you're collaborating with multiple people or somebody is forking your code, they will be able to see the shorthand code that you've written, like inject and map and maybe some other lines of code that are one line in length, and they'll just see that as shorthand for code that would have otherwise take multiple lines. So I'm going to just briefly demonstrate the inject method so you can see what it can do. And then I will refer you to the Ruby documentation for you to learn more about this amazing method on your own time. So we're going to first save this file and I'm going to call it inject.rb for Ruby. And we're going to replace it. And I'm going to create a simple array you can put whatever numbers you want in here. I'm just going to make it simple. And I'm going to create a function and pass x through it. And then within that function, I'm going to set the argument that you pass through the function to x equals x dot inject curly braces pipe symbols. And I'm going to put x and y within the pipe symbols and on the outside I'm going to show the operation that I'm going to execute on each element. So if I want to add all of the numbers within the array up to get the sum for 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 I will type x plus y. Now what this code is basically saying is that you're going to take x which is the first element of the array, which is number one, and you're going to add y to x, and y in this case is going to be the second element of the array, which is two. So you are adding one plus two together, which will make three. And then what happens in this function is then y turns into the next number in the array, which is three. So what you basically get is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. And then y will keep referring to the next number in the list of numbers. So eventually what you should get is 15. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. So that's what the x is going to equal when this operation is finished running. When we return back to the function here, we're going to want to have the value, the new value, display once you've executed the function. So what you'll do within the function is type return x, and that should basically return the value of x, which is 15. So press return twice. I'm going to just increase the size of the font here so you can basically see everything here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type puts solution and we're going to pass the array in, this, in the function. And that should basically produce what we want, which is 15. So if you're on a Mac, you're going to press command B as in boy. If you're on a Windows, it's control B and you will see the solution to this code. And there you go, you get 15. So if you have any questions about this code or any questions about the inject method, feel free to contact me or even better, I will refer you to the Ruby documentation. You should see the URL below the screen here and find out more about this method and how it can be used. I assure you it will be really helpful and effective in your coding journey. And I wish you the best of luck. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.
Thanks for watching this video.